All right, Sketch Pet Podcast, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we're going to be reacting to Fresh and Fit. Uh, Fresh from Fresh and Fit allegedly has gotten a woman pregnant. And that's not the shocker part. We're going to listen to the shocker part of the video. So we'll be back. Sketch Pet, you know what it is. Yeah, man, we back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So we're going to watch this video um, of uh, the female talking to uh, Fresh about the situation. So let's go. Baby, because I don't want to kill the baby. I don't want to kill nobody. I don't want to. You're not. They just give you a pill and it's over. No, no. I'm pregnant. No, but that's what I'm saying. The pill, they just give it to you from a doctor and then you're good. I am pregnant. I can't pretend like nothing happened. I can't. In my religion, we don't kill. You're not killing. Okay. I want to keep the baby. Okay. Well, like I said, I just don't want any kids. No. Okay, so what you gonna do? And what you gonna do to me? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? Nothing. Well, why did I do anything to you? No, I know. So, like, how are you gonna deal with this? By by saying I don't want a baby. That's all. At this point in the conversation, I'm so confused. Either it's that her English is so bad or and she just don't understand what it is that he's saying, or she is a slow young woman because he said what he wanted to do, which is to have an A. At this point, I'm thinking, how ridiculous of you for us to be going raw daddy in this woman when it's so clear and obvious, at least to this point in the recording, that she's trying to set you up. And I'm also thinking, how real could this actually be that she's in fact pregnant with his kid? Let's keep going. I mean, to the doctor, I guess. To the doctor. So you want to? I mean, yeah. Why do you want a kid now? And why do you make me pregnant now? That's so like. There's no way that that's true. But then it's like, oh wow, like. So just think about it. It's mean to be. God Sorry? wants. God wants you to have the baby. Definitely not. It is. God wants you to have a baby. Seven years never happened. And then you're relate in a relate you're fighting me for a month and I'm pregnant. What does that mean? It means fresh was going raw daddy in you. It wasn't pulling out at least. Guys, what do I tell you? Wrap it up, wrap it up, wrap it up. Fresh apparently was not doing that. Like it, now I just think about it. if like if you force me to kill the baby, then you're a sin. Well, we already said by having sex, but it's too late now, you know? And these are some of the leaked DMs from their conversation. These were actually posted <laughs> before that audio. The pregnant woman says, all I'm saying is that you should take responsibility for what you did. I am a victim in this relationship and I'm carrying your baby. You act like you don't care and you don't want nothing. He says, also, now I'm worried I have to test other girls, at least four. She says, another girl, four girls. So you're saying you have with four girls with art protection? I hope you have all the money for your children's support. And finally admit you are effing, effing trash. I also heard that this chick was actually on the Fresh and Fit podcast to know what it is that they talk about and to be messing with him for a month and assume that he doesn't have other women in his stable is absolutely ridiculous but you see a reference to money right here which is what actually this whole situation can be about 
So he responds, I don't have money. Good luck. LOL, you will see. You should have a kid with someone you are in love with in the same household. It won't be what you expect. Man up. I'm telling you now so you know. She says, I don't expect anything anymore since we are not together. I got pregnant with you when I was at your house and when I was in love. You wanted to have the baby. If you did it, you did bust all in me with your own pleasure. Be logic and be a man. I don't get pregnant by myself. It's not fair for the baby. What are you saying? We are not together and won't be. Why would that be good for a kid? Yeah, it doesn't make any sense. But what I find interesting about this is that he is not negating that he is busting in her without a goddamn comment unto which I got to think and say to myself, fresh, what are you doing? You going raw daddy and these chicks that you have on the show? What the fuck is wrong with you? You know better. I know Myron is telling you to know better. I get it. She's a baddie. But why set yourself and your life up for so much drama knowing that women are going to be attracted to you, not because of your personality, not because of your face, but because of the amount of money that you have in your account and you're busted in these thoughts, broad daddy, what is wrong with you? She has the logic to think, well, if you are not wearing a condom and you are busting in me raw, that must mean that you want a child. While I agree, she's making a couple of logical jumps. I can't disagree with her. Why else are you leaving your seed in a woman that you know in your heart of hearts really don't fuck with you like that? She's probably there for the money. So why did you keep busting your loads all up inside of me? Also, he says, things happen, and yes, feelings change, but bringing a kid into this world with, without both parents, love is cruel. We both thought you wouldn't get pregnant. Fresh, this is like rule number one in dealing with women and beginning to start to have sex with them. Never, ever, 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 ever trust and believe when they tell you that they cannot have children. Don't even believe them unless you go into the doctor office with them when they're put in the damn birth control unit into her cervix, unless you can watch that act happening. Or if you go up into the back of it and you feel that little wire hanging down, or if she shows you the thing in her arm, but even if she's just taking a pill, do not Trust it. Again, especially when you know that you're beating these girls on the show. Because they're obviously going to set you up for the jokes. Three to four weeks, the doctor says. He says, oh, okay. It's our baby. And you want to kill our baby. You are not being a good human. It's not about that right now. It's not good. And a lot is happening, especially now business may be over. I don't want kids right now and we spoke about it and you agreed again they'll change their mind they'll flip the script sometimes even when they're good-natured women they'll go and they'll go get that sonogram and see it inside and then all of a sudden they change their mind then but just don't ever trust it the best way to guard against this is to just not go in raw daddy. But here's the thing, we're all human. We're all fallible. We all make mistakes and I understand that. But for the empty army, you're beginning to understand how quickly that these women can change their minds or insert little distractions in there to make you go inside because they see you as a great option going into the future. I never agreed. I agreed based on your actions. Are you not educated if you keep releasing your seed inside of me? that I will get pregnant, can't disagree with her. I don't get pregnant without your behavior. Words mean nothing, man up. I'm not saying I wanna be with you, cause I don't, cause you are nothing to me, but the baby is innocent. So there's a picture here of two pregnancy tests, and then she writes, you always told me you wanted me to be your baby's mother. Okay, so you're in a relationship with her? You just lie, you just, are you just lying to her? I loved you and I did everything to be a good girlfriend. Okay, yeah, they were, they were in a relationship. You guys are actually finding things out as, as I'm reading it. Now this is happening, you walked away. I think I wanna keep the baby. 
I don't want to end alive. I want you to think carefully and take the responsibility. He responds back, I'll call you shortly. She says, take your time. Apparently a call happened. And then he responded, I can't have kids. And she says, take responsibility for your actions. So All right. So a couple of different things I'm going to say here. Um, one, I'm going to play devil's advocate. Then I'm going to give my real feeling. So me playing devil's advocate, everybody, everybody makes mistakes. Um, I don't think this is a big deal. I don't care how people try to spin it because okay, yeah, he ran and raw on the check and she got pregnant. You know what I'm saying? I mean, is it really a big deal that she got pregnant? No, it's not a big deal. Um, do I think she capping? I definitely think that there's some money involved here as far as she trying to get money. She mentioned pregnant as if he didn't know what she was talking about. <laughs> she said it at least like 30 times. I'm pregnant. Mm -hmm. I'm pregnant because she wanted. And I know the first she recorded the conversation and she put it out and she went on a couple of podcasts and she basically is trying to expose him. See, I don't like stuff like that. I don't because you partic you participated in this act too. And now you're trying to play like you're the victim. You know what I'm saying? Now I'll say this. You got to be the dumbest nigga fresh. You got to be stupid, bro. Not that you went raw on the chick. You got to be stupid for you to say the things you were saying to her in the messenger. If she says she pregnant, all you should have just said was, okay, let's take a DNA test. If it's my baby, I'll take care of it. That's yeah. it. That's all you had to say. You saying, uh, duh, I can't have a baby. I can't have kids. Oh, I don't want no kids. Uh, why would you want to bring a baby into this world? Listen, bro, this, this is already over for that. You already didn't spill all in the girl. You already did all that inside of her. That's the dumbest thing you can say. That's what people are going to clown you for. And that's what you're going to look like. You're an idiot and you're an asshole. Because people are going to say, well, you're trying to force her to get an abortion. Right? Mm -hmm. But my thing is, when women say my body, my choice, and they say stuff like, oh, um, I'll, I can do whatever I want. It's my body. This is exactly what men be talking about right here. A man can't have a say when it comes to a woman being pregnant because once she's pregnant, she could either decide to keep it or not keep it. But for some reason, he's going to automatically be a bad guy. So either way he go, he's still a bad guy. So if he say, I want, I want you to keep the baby and she say, no. And he says, I want my baby. They'll say, you, you can't control her. It's her body, her choice. She should be able to get rid of the baby if she wants to. It's not your choice. If you go the other way and say, I want you to get rid of the baby, they're going to say, see, you are cruel. You trying to make her get rid of the baby. How could you do this? Either way he go, he's wrong. Yeah. So I'm saying what he should have did was he should have said straight up. Okay, calm down. You pregnant? Okay. We take a DNA test. If the baby turns out to be mine, I'm going to take care of my baby. That's it. We ain't going to be together, but I'm going to take care of the baby. I'm going to take care of my child. Yeah. That's it. You can't be yeah. saying that you, you can't be saying that you this moral upstanding Christian, bro, which I'm not a, I'm not a religious person. I'm just saying you can't be saying you this moral upstanding Christian and then, then pushing her to go and get, you know what I mean? Yeah. You can't be that guy, bro. And then again, I mean, if you haven't, I mean, I ain't, again, I ain't no Christian, but if you haven't six out of wedlock, then okay. And she get pregnant. Yeah, I understand. But at the same time, you got to understand, bro. You should have just said, take a DNA test. The baby's mine. 
I'll take care of it. That's it. Conversation's over. All that, all that going back and forth through text, it only makes her argument better. And it only makes her look better. That's it. Say, so you want to have a baby? Okay, fine. You take a DNA test? Baby mine? I'll take care of the baby. That's it. And there's nothing else to talk about after that. Nothing else to talk about. That's it. And usually, and I hate to say this, usually when you say stuff like that, they end up not having a baby. Yeah. They no. don't want to be embarrassed if the baby's mm -hmm. not, not yours. Mm -hmm. But the way he went about it, that was the dumbest thing you can do. That was so stupid. You going back and forth. What, what are you thinking, bro? What are you thinking? You just tell it straight up what it is. Like, look, we take a DNA test, baby's, baby's mine, I'll take care of it. That's it. And just keep it moving. Yeah. But it is what it is. Um, first off, I didn't, I didn't even know that, uh, that, uh, he was a religious individual. You know what I'm saying? Now, mind you, like, you know what I mean? Mind you, I was brought up in Christianity. So I get, I, I get how he's acting and I understand that I am a Christian, you know what I'm saying? But that has nothing to do with what, what the discussion is. So let's just take religion out the situation. And let's just focus on his characteristics of what he's doing right now. Now, for one, right, you're making it seem like you you're you're inexperienced, like you don't know nothing, like you're dumbfounded, like you never like you never encountered this type of situation before. You work on a show podcast called Fresh and Fit. You have some of, well, you know what I mean. In some cases, to some people. You have some of the most gorgeous women on your show, okay? Which means nine times out of ten, you're probably going to be attracted to some of these females. And there's no way on God's green earth that anybody's going to tell me that there's not some sort of interaction with these females when they meet these girls. Now, I could be wrong, but they, they, there's got to be some sort of intera inter interaction. And this right here is a prime example of it. Now, I can't speak for the other guy. I only can speak for him because this is what he's involved in right now. So my thing is, right, just to, you know what I mean, off of what you said, right, why didn't you just say, look, if it's my baby, I'm going to do the DNA test, blase, blase, whatever. Why didn't you just say that? That would have ended the whole conversation. You wouldn't even have to go even that far. Because then she would know that you are a man and you going to man up and do what you got to do. And most likely, she probably going to say, oh, false alarm. I'm not pregnant. It was a false alarm. I did the test all wrong, whatever, whatever. Because women do that. When they see you a stand-up individual and you go there, especially you already said or you already in, in, it's already indication. Not you said, but this indication that she wasn't attracted to you at first. You understand? There's already indication there. Not to mention, there's also indication that she probably was sleeping with you for money. You know what I'm saying? Because she probably, you probably somehow, some way showed her that you, you know what I mean? You got a little bit of change in your bank account as far as the podcasting. So once she found that out, she's already like jackpot. Let me see what I could do with this. It's just like the sports athletes. You know what I'm saying? When these sports athletes go out and have a good time with these females, whatever, you know what I mean? Next thing you know, they go sleep with, they go sleep with a chick or whatever. And then boom, 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 they got to get a chick pregnant. You know what I'm saying? Look at the, look at the Brittany Reiner girl and the young boy. You know what I'm saying? Prime example of that. So, what made you think that she wasn't going to come at you like that? What made you think that she wasn't? And you're handling it so poorly, so poorly. You know what I mean? She's going to drag you. She's going to drag you. I don't see, if this, if this baby's yours, I don't see you getting out of this no shape or form. If it's not yours, you pray to God it's not, you are the luckiest man on earth. And you better not make this type of choice again. Now, as far as it uh, affecting the show, it, 
I don't know. I don't know. It could affect it. It could not. I, who knows? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, we, you know, as far as it affects, I, we'll see. We'll see. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll see. But I know for I know for sure that his 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 boy probably pulled him aside like, yo, what are you doing, fam? What are you doing? Our whole show is based off of having morals, and you just broke the code. So he gonna get he gonna get drug on social media, and all those people that are hating on Fresh and Fit are gonna drag the show too because they're gonna say, see, I told you, I told you, I told you. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? But people, people people make mistakes. It happens. This it is what it is. People make mistakes. You know, we can't go act like like everybody's some sort of saint that people can't f drop the ball sometimes. Like, it happens. You know what I mean? So I don't think it should be, he should be uh, getting drugged to that extent, you know? But I do think, you know, this is a lesson learned for him. And he need to understand that, you know, if not handled properly, because I think it could possibly put, be a little bit of a distraction. I'm not saying it could destroy anything as far as the show, but it could be a little bit of a distraction. Because if you get anybody smart on there, like a Candace Owens or whoever that was on the show before, and they start asking him questions, how is he going to be able to respond to that? Mm -hmm. You know? So, I mean, hey. um, I will say this. Um, I think that uh, I don't think nothing's gonna happen to the show. Mm -hmm. But I think I think if he go on the show and say, "Look, I'm I'm human, and I did something that I shouldn't have did," or he go on the show and say, "Yeah, I'm, I did. I wanted to do it, and I don't want to have a baby." If he do that, what can you really say to him? Nothing. He could do that. He could do whatever he want at this point. But I just think that you're just being a hypocrite if you are saying you are a Christian man and then you asking her to get, you know, get rid of it. So, yeah, but that is very true. It is what it is. But hey, man, it ain't the end of the world. You have a baby. <laughs> That's what it is, man. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. So yeah. and it just depends on how how she go about it. Some of these girls they want money, and she sound like she do. So, but yeah, mm -hmm. man, Sketchpad Podcast, we out of here. See y'all, peace, bye.